Must it feel like it had told you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. You'll find more in a ravine north and west of here, along with the bodies of the killers. The exile still served its purpose. He was guilty of our suspicion. Fate has fallen like snow, and should Inatut return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Werek, my Nora friend. You look ridiculous. If you would return to my Werek, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their carge of victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you. I defied my chieftain's will, spurned my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I've been pounded the guts. I could just keep walking, but when my anger has thawed, it will leave me with nothing. Where else would I go? You can decide for yourself what it means to be a Banuk. It might not be what the Chieftain and the Shaman tell you. Whether you stay with this Warak or find another... I'm better with decisions like... Do I start with the left... or the right? There's more to you than your fists, Inatut. That's why I believed you. It was my Chieftain who taught me honesty. He said... A Banuk should not be treacherous when the ice is treacherous enough. I'll sit with my bruises for a time. Then talk with her again. As for you, Nora girl, will you accept this gift? A, a little scrawny weight against the great boon you gave me, but... I'm honored. Thank you, Inatut.